the story of our world every day. Listen and your heart may open up. If ever you feel frightened of our world that's washed away, a mother is a mother, come to us. Stories that we share will all live on until we say these truths are our gifts passed on to you. Women. Hello, everyone. I'm Lisa Liebau, and this is the Shahrazad Project's hashtag 101 Nights Show. We are counting down to the most pivotal election of our time by featuring at least one woman's story in any art form each night through November 2nd, 2020, to urge all Americans to use their voices to vote. Join us live every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Denise Chavez is a novelist, playwright, actor, and teacher whose work focuses on the border corridor of Southern New Mexico, West Texas, and Northern Mexico. Chavez's book, The King and Queen of Comezón, published by the University of Oklahoma Press, won the 2015 International Latino Book Award in Fiction and the 2015 New Mexico, Arizona Fiction Award. Chavez is also the owner and bookseller at Casa Camino Real, a bookstore and multicultural art and community center on the historic Camino Real with her husband, photographer, Daniel Zelinsky, whose photos appear in tonight's performance. Not only that, She's a co-founder of Libros para el Viaje, Books for the Journey, an ongoing book initiative in collaboration with the American Booksellers Association that delivers books in Spanish and Portuguese to refugee families on the U.S.-Mexico border. It began in the summer of 2019 and continues to this day. It's an honor to bring this powerful voice to the 101 Nights screen, presenting Denise Chavez. I am here to represent. I am here to represent the Castro family, a mother, a father, two girls age 12 to 14, two boys ages 8 to 10. They are the only family that I have not seen separated, intact, not broken up. They are waiting on a bus to go to North Carolina. I am here to represent Angelica, who traveled all the way from Guatemala, only to have her sister in the US refuse to sponsor her. She cries when she tells us this. We stand in a circle on a Sunday morning on the second floor of a local hotel, calling up the ancestors and giving thanks. And later, she and her daughter sing a song that I have never heard before. Our group weeps, and it is good. I am here to represent the teenager, 18 years old, a son who witnessed his father's murder in Honduras. Because he was 18 and not 17, he was deported. His mother has not seen him since. I am here to represent the three-week-old baby girl that sleeps in a baby carrier with her mother nearby. They are ready to take a bus to Los Angeles. I am here to rep represent, I am here to represent the woman who cried when her son's baby blanket was thrown in the garbage by ice. Against her wishes, her mother gave her the blanket and she has never seen it again. I am here to represent the man whose Bible was confiscated also by ice and also thrown in the garbage. I am here to represent Hasmin, a teenager who fa whose father is so proud of her. She speaks English. Oh, mijita, you're going to do so well, I tell her. 
and her father beams. I am here to represent the Mayan man who told me that he spe speaks five indigenous languages as well as Spanish. He is now learning English. Oh, that is a great blessing, I tell him. Aye, it makes him happy. I am here to represent so many people, too many people, people I have seen and come and go, the man who smelled so badly, who sat next to me as I was reading the story to families and children. How long was it that he had bathed, washed, brushed his teeth, changed his clothes, his smell, it was the smell of the defiled and the cursed, the neglected and the abused. How long had he suffered? I wanted to move away, but I couldn't. Later, much later, I found out that he had gangrene of the leg. He had refused to shower because it was so painful. He was afraid to tell anybody of his pain because he thought the authority was, would not let him get on that bus to see his family. I wonder, where is he now and how is his leg? I am here to represent the man who spoke of the cold, who was held in a bathroom full of men, no standing room, children sleeping on the floor. I am here to represent those who have died in detention in the heat, those who have drowned, been shot, been beaten, been raped, the nameless faceless who find themselves on la frontera, the borders of the world. I am here to represent the voices unheard, the voices untold, the stories untold. I am here to represent the children of Juarez, Anapra, Las Cruces, El Paso, Demi, Laredo, Brownsville, Matamoros, Houston, Tijuana. Oh, too many places, too many places. I am here to represent all of you who want to do something don't know what to do, don't know where to begin. You are not alone. Look around. We are family. I am here to represent the men and the women in the kitchens who have prepared the food for these people, who do their laundry, who have cleaned up, who have given them books, the priests, the pastors who have been present, all those who have donated clothing, food, diapers, toiletries, books, hope. I am here to represent my people that were killed in the massacre in El Paso. My cousin who teaches kindergarten had a student, Guillermo Memo, whose father died after nine months in ICU. I am here to represent all these people and to represent myself, the here and the now, the people who have been killed. Why are your people killing my people? Why are we sending our people to kill their people? What good will a book do? We distribute books to families. Books will empower, enlighten, and give hope. I have seen the faces of people. The woman who got three Isabel Allende books. The young man on the bridge in Juarez, living in a tent in poverty, no heat, the rain coming down, and this young boy coming to me and asking me for a book on film a future filmmaker. I am here to represent. And you, you are here to listen, to learn, to act, to have an understanding. You are here to represent. Thank you for your solidarity. Thank you for your presence, your faith, your endurance. We are here to represent, to record, to remember, to reconnect. Somos una familia. We are all one family. We are here to represent. Thanks for joining us tonight. If our featured artists inspire you to share a story of your own, everyone, all genders, can help the grassroots spread. Post your literary, visual, or performing arts on Instagram or Twitter with hashtag 101nights. That's 101nights. You don't have to be the featured artist 
to join the movement. If you're a creative or just have a favorite story you want to share, post it on Twitter or Instagram and include hashtag 101 nights. So the fabric of our world every day History of violence made it through The stories that we share will live on until we say These truths are our gifts passed on to you